Na msijui mada ya leo ambayo tunazungumzia umeandaa ni mada gani na pia ningependa mtambulishe mgeni okay. wetu na naona umefurahi sana nyota wewe umefurahi sana kwa sababu mnaweza kupatana leo at least yani <laughs> leo leo uh, the two third gender rule ina apply sana katika kipindi chetu yeah unajua uh, leo tukizungumzia sadaka Naam. ama zakat mm. uh, sio tengo anajua vipi tunafaa kuitoa na sio islamu wengi wanajua pengine vitu gani tunafaa kutoa kwa sababu watu wengi wamezoea pengine zakat ni kutoa tu chakula peke yake mm -hmm. lakini wasitokijua ni kwamba zakat unaweza kutoa pia nguo zako unaweza mm -hmm. kutoa pesa kama unayo unaweza kutoa yani kitu kingine yote ambayo itamnufaisha mwanzako mm -hmm. inachangia ina kama zakat mm -hmm. na pia pengine ile resha ya zakat hatujui mm -hmm. leo kwa sababu tuna mgeni katika kipindi chetu na sio mwingine bali tumeona binti mdogo sana mm -hmm. Na jina lake ndio imenishangaza kwa sababu anaitwa Burak. Na. na mimi kwangu mimi nilikuwa nafikiria nikitajwa jina Burak nilikuwa nakumbuka yule farasi ambaye mtume alipanda wana. Ndio. Sasa mimi kaje pingine ili jina Burak ni jina la kiume. Lakini sikujua kwamba jina hili linaweza likatumiwa na mwanamume pia na mwanamke pia. Sasa karibu katika kipindi natuambia jina la Burak ya maanisha nini? <laughs> <laughs> Burak ni farasi ya mtume sallallahu Mm -hmm. Na tunafahamu kuwa ume, umehusika sana katika uh, charity events nyingi ambazo zinatoa sadaka na tungependa kwanza utufahamishe hizi charity events ni kama gani na imekuwa ni kwa mda gani ambao umetekeleza zile charity events na kuhusika nao Nime umehusika na charity events from when I finished form 4 Mashallah Naam mm -hmm. Nilianza kivyangu kwa mwanzo mm -hmm. lakini sasa hivi nime nil, mimi nilikuwa naenda tu na wenzangu like friends we just go and uh, tuafanya tu, tuna visit a certain nini Ayo. but mwanzo tulianza na street kids mm -hmm. yeah asa mi nilikuwa naangalia uh, the street kids na ile huruma mm -hmm. eh, tulikuwa tunawapatia chakula mm -hmm. like we usually cook at home mm -hmm. uh, coming from my uh, like background mm. pia mimi na na najua venye wanasikia wana, wana i'm not good in english but then <laughs> <laughs> in swahili but, but we, we really do understand you kuna swali ambalo fatima alikuwa ameuliza mm -hmm. kidogo tu kali overtake ningependa uliulize mm -hmm. tena umeweza kwa yeye uh, uh, anaitwa nani sio okay. na pia anafanya wafanya nini haswa naam na naitwa burak abdullahi ahmed nafanya um, pish already mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in pish mean I'm a chef. Wanafika <laughs> aina zote za chakula. Aina zote apart from pastry. Mm -hmm. Sasa na uh, Abdulazak alipokuuliza swali, ukasema kwamba kilicho kupelekea kwanza hii uh, kutoa sadaka mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni huruma yako kwa wale watoto. Mm -hmm. Na pia ningependa kukuuliza pasi na huruma kuna vitu zingine pengine ilikufanya ikakupelekea kuanza hii organization yako ya kuwasaidia wale watoto na yatima? Naam. No. Uh, sijaanza organization yangu bali niko kwa Kitu organization kile cha sadaka ni nini kilipelekea ukaanza yani oh, it's my background where mm. i come from so, so na pia mm -hmm. thawabu unajua mm -hmm. ni, ni mzuri kusaidiana kimaisha mm -hmm. na pia uh, ni ile kitu yenye inanifanya like ni kwa na niweze kuwa close to allah sasa ukisema background yako na maanisha nini I'm an orphan too. Ah. No. Mashallah, nitasema mashallah. Kwa sababu pia Mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam pia alikuwa alikuwa yatima. Naam. Na, na Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anasema kwa katika Qur'ani uh, alimpata Mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam akiwa ni yatima na akampata akiwa na ufukara kiasi na akaweza kumnehemesha na kumuinua mpaka akampa utajiri kupitia kwa uh, nana Khadija radhiallahu anha na pia vile vile pia akaweza aka, aka kulifanya jina la Mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam linafahamika ulimwenguni kote takriban uh, miaka 2000 ama uh, 
karibu na miaka alfu mbili bado jina la mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam linatajwa na linatajwa kwa heshima sana ndio maana nitakwambia mashaallah si jambo si jambo la kusikitikia na pia uh, mm. while, while talking earlier na uh, moja katika waja ambao tuliweza kuzungumza naye ili tukaweza kukutana na wewe yeah. uh, he mentioned to me that all these uh, charity events that you do zote huwa mwajisimamia hakuna yeah. taasisi yoyote ya Kiislamu ambayo inasaidia katika kutoa usaidizi wote katika zile orphanage ambazo mnatembelea how do you get to reach that uh, capacity ya kusaidia oh well, we usually have different kinds of uh, ways and an organization starts up people join okay we have a till number no. yeah so kama unaweza kuna ile vcf card mm-hmm. kama venye wanafanyanga mata hatra na mm-hmm. yeah we have those cards we usually print them out mm-hmm. for some organizations no. wana they print them out wanasimama msikitini wanaziweka kwenye mtandao mm-hmm. kama unaweza kusaidiana unaweza tuma chochote unaweza no. and if you for other organizations they prefer wajisimamie wao kwa wenyewe mm-hmm. like wenye wao kwa wenyewe hawa members wenyewe mm-hmm. watoe kile ambacho wanaweza mm-hmm. wasaidiane ndio waweze kusaidia mm-hmm. ma- different kinds of orphanages kwa ni michango ambayo inatolewa na members members and outside members too okay, okay. yeah no. the same mchango wako kwa sababu umeniambia hakuna organization inaanza wewe kwa hivyo mchango wenu mnatoa ku any chini ya hizo organizations zingine wanaunga mkono ndio na hizi organization ambazo mmeenda pengine ningependa kuuliza mnaenda organizations za islamu peke yake ama mnaenda zote zote tumeungana mkono non mm-hmm. muslims and muslims sasa hapo ningependa kuuliza swali langu zakat mm-hmm. yani inakuja chini ya zakat na a pengine mtazamaji anatuangalia pale ajui zakat ni nini. Utatuambia zakat ni nini? Na pia baada ya kutuambia zakat ni nini, ningependa kuuliza kulingana na Mtume sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Alisema zakat inafaa kupewa nani yani? Kuna eight different types of people wenye wanapewa zakat. There's the should I say them in Arabic? Yeah yeah definitely. Alafu tutatafsiri. Kuna almiskin, kuna firqab, kuna wakumbuki wote but kuna mm-hmm. pia wanaitwa kama kina nani kuna ibnu sabil ibnu sabil mm-hmm. fi sabili la yeah Naam. so unatoa zakat kwa wasiojiweza mm-hmm. eh ndo wale wenye wanafaa kupeana zakat mm-hmm. wanafaa kupewa zakat na uh, Naam. kuna kuna na pia ambao ambao wame, labda kama kuna mtu alikuwa katika safari kisha akapatikaniwa na msiba ama kitu ambacho kilimletea shida katika mji no. pia anapaswa kupewa zakat. Sabili la. No. Sabili la. Uh-huh. Na pia wale ambao wanaitwa wala amelina alei ambao wame, no. wame, wamehusika katika kuikusanya na kuhesabu na kufikisha ile zakat kwa wengine kama vile mafukara mm-hmm. basi pia wale pia ambao wameshirikia katika katika kukusanya wanapaswa ku. Nao pia wanapewa. Naam. Kwa hivyo zakat haisemi kwamba uh, mtu wa dini fulani pekee yake anafaa kupata la, zakat. Si specific. Ndio. Na hakuna kusema kwamba pengine tunapotoa unaona pale tunapochinja no. wanasema ga, unafaa kumpatia jirani yako kwanza mm. na pale kwa jirani hawajasema pengine muislamu ama mkristo wanasema mm. jirani yako yeyote yeyote, yeyote. kwa hivyo zakat pia ni hivyo hakuna fast tuseme first priority unampatia muislamu hapana inafaa kuwa ama first priority unaangalia familia yako ni nani hajiwezi hapana unafaa kumpatia uh-huh. mtu yote wasiojiweza wasiojiweza na na sasa Uh, haswa kile ambacho nimepata kukifahamu zaidi katika mazungumzo ambayo tumekuwa nayo ni kuwa hawa uh, usaidizi ambao mnatoa no. mnatoa katika maeneo tofauti jinsi mimi ninavyofahamu na ningependa kwanza unifahamishe ama utufahamishe sisi sote hawa watu ambao mnawatolea zile sadaka ambazo mnawapelekea how do you identify them mnawajuaje hawa watu uh, we identify first a certain orphanage mm-hmm. Hey. one of us wanaenda wanatafuta orphanage kuna different kinds of orphanages no. all over the country uh-huh. and tunaenda different kind na hatusaidii pia orphanages peke kuna uh-huh. msikiti ambazo um, pia hawajiezi mm-hmm. pia tuwasaidia no. like to to lift up the the buildings mm-hmm. of the masjid and everything no. and tunaendanga kwa different kinds of orphanages we we get to know the where they started from and mm-hmm. their background mm-hmm. and the owner and if they have a sponsor mm-hmm. and 
most of the orphanages and yet men to me pass corner hawana sponsor ah. so if you don't have a sponsor we usually look for makaratasi ambazo zinaonesha hii ni orphanage ah. unajua inaweza kuwa ile daycare mm. na uwezi jua <laughs> Asa, tuwafatilia vizuri, no. no badai sasa, tunanjua tuneza wasaidia, dena tunawaongelesha, tunazungumza na wawo. Mm. Yeah. Kwa vatu tukua mfano wa labda taasisi ya kiislamu ama tuseme madrasa, no. ambayo labda ilianzishwa mm. na wanafunzi ya mawako pale ni mayatima. No. Na ikawa ile madrasa imekuwa registered as a CBO or Community Based Organization. Yes. Watu kama hawa wanaingia katika katika category ya kusaidiwa iwapo na tatizo labda madrasa yenyewe uh, hawana 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 uh, rent labda hey. na pia wana tatizo labda la food supply vitabu vile pia vinakosekana uh, payment ya walimu pia inakuwa ni, ma, ni matatizo. Wanaingia katika ile category ya watu wa ambao wanaingia. Wana, uh-huh. Usually usually collect money. Na wenda tunawaangalia venye tunaweza wasaidia mm. and then tunawasaidia mdogo mdogo atuwezi saidia kila kitu at once mm. eh, so at first we usually visit no. tunaangalia mm. mwanzo tuwa, tunaenda tuna spend time na watoto tunawaongelesha tuko, tuko different kind of members mm. so tunajigawanya mm. wewe utashinda, utashinda kwa watoto mimi nitashinda jikoni mm. wewe utazungumza na wakubwa no. eh, so tutaongea na wao and then we see how we can help we usually uh, take with us chakula ambazo tunaweza tunaweza pia kama sadaka tutawapikia hiyo siku we spend time with the kids tunacheza na wao ndo wapate ile furaha mm-hmm. pia wao waweze kuongea na sisi no, no. like they share they open up yeah I so know. we usually help out mdogo mdogo mm-hmm. yeah. uh-huh. Ametuja kwamba uh, wanapeleka chakula. Na no. yeah, ningependa kuuliza vitu vingine pengine gani mm. ambayo pengine mtu yuko pale anatazama ningependa kutoa zakat lakini mm. hajui nafaa kutoa nini. Watu wengi sana sana wanatoa pesa no. na chakula no. lakini no. hawajui pengine kuna vitu vingine zinafaa kutolewa. Okay. Vitu kama zipi pengine mtu anafaa kutoa na uniambie ni kiwango gani mtu anafaa kutoa kwa sababu wengine hawajui. Mm. Unapata mtu anatoa lakini hajui pengine kuna ile percentage ambayo pengine wanasisitiziwa kutoa. Na kuna wengine ambao wanatoa hata moja labda hamsini hivi. Eh, haina <laughs> haina msisitizo. Kwa Kiislamu unaweza tu ile yenye unaweza mm. unatoa kama ni pesa. Mm. Kama ni chakula unatoa certain amount of let's say unga you give out 3 kg if you are if you if you are able to mm. kama unaweza unaweza toa 10 kg mm. unaweza oh, toa hata unataka kusema hakuna kiwango cha zakat haina kiwango Inisat zakat sadaka so, yeah. yeah. ina kiwango sadaka haina, haina zakat kiwango. kiwango zakat ndio ina kiwango na pia umetuja kwamba kuna hizi organizations mm. ambazo zinasaidia na hmm. kulingana na utafiti sisi tajo organization gani lakini unapata watu wanaanza vizuri kwa kuwasaidia wale ambao hawajiwezi na na hiyo kitendo cha kuwasaidia inawavutia watu wengi hmm. unapata kuna watu ambao wako katika nchi zilizoendelea wanasema mimi pia nataka nisaidie hmm. kwa sababu wanaangalia kupitia mtandao kama TikTok watu wanajipost wanaangalia hmm. kwenye Facebook hmm. wanasema ni vipi ndio wafikie ili niwasaidie hmm. sasa wengi wao wanafanya kutuma pesa hmm. Na unapata sikuizi wanatumia njia zile kama njia za kujinufaisha kibinafsi. Unapata mm. ndiyo pesa zinaingia. Na pindi pesa zinapoingia zinakuwa nyingi pia shetani anaingia katikati yake. Umeona? Sasa badala ya kuwasaidia watu unapata kile kiongo ambacho wanatoa kusaidia wale watoto mayatima inakuwa kidogo sana mm. na ile ambao wanachukua wao inakuwa nyingi. Sasa imekuwa kama business. No. Na hii ni kitu ambayo inaendelea sana katika mm. jamii yetu. Sasa vipi watu kama hao? Uh, utaweza ku hiyo ina depend na mwenyana anataka kusaidiana yeah. let's say you you don't know this organization if it's real or not and i would say make sure you do a background search before you give out the sadaqa to the kind of person you're giving out uh-huh. uh, kuna kuna ma organization na kuna zenye ziko registered uh-huh. kama hiyo organization haiko registered tafadhali usitoe chochote uh-huh. ndio na most of them are even have a registered organizations <laughs> Hapo <laughs> sasa sitafanya so, nini? Tutawaachia tu Mungu. Hapo <laughs> <laughs> sana kumbuka kuna sitataja, sitataja ni eneo gani wala sitataja ni nani yeah. ama madrasa gani ama ni wapi. Mm-hmm. Lakini kuna mja fulani mm-hmm. ambaye ana connections sana. Yeah. Na ana connections na taasisi tofauti tofauti za hapa nchini na pia za sehemu zingine huko abroad mm-hmm. kama kule kama Kuwait uh, na pia kutoka Qatar ambao wanaleta usaidizi na anapokea mm-hmm. kwa wingi sana. Kishule bwana alichukua na kifanya alikuwa anachukua na ako na 
organization ambayo ana madrasa ambayo iko registered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sijui kama anaendelea kwa sababu kitambo sana takriban miaka 10 na miwili iliyopita. Yeah. Sasa so, bwana alikuwa anachukua kile chakula kwele na kichukua na kinakuwa ni chakwenda kusaidia mayatima, anasema kuwa ni vile na mayatima wenyewe wapo katika ile madrasa. Mm -hmm. Lakini akawa anachukua ule usaidizi na anapeleka kwake. Kisha anagawanya na kiwango kingine anapeleka kule katika uh, ile orphanage. Sasa yule alikuwa anakosea ama alikuwa anafanya sawa? Alikuwa anakosea. Naam. Na hadith ama ni aya inasema if you use uh, the kile ambacho wamepewa sadaka kwa watoto yatima. Mm. Siku ya akhira Mwenyezi Mungu iko na iko na punishment yake. Mm. Yeah. So I would say pia sisi wenyewe we have to be very careful like mm. those organizations because kuna zile orphanages ni fake. Unaweza uh -huh. jua ni child care ama kuna wale wenye pia wanaanzisha orphanage alafu pia wanasaidiwa mm. na hizo usaidizi wanenda wanapelekea wana familia mm. ndio so ningependa eh, watu wakue like they should be very mm. very very careful about this there's there's one point i'm getting from what you're saying mm -hmm. and that is that wakati unatoa usaidizi kama wewe ni mwenye kutoa ile sadaka hata muislamu pale nyumbani hata kama hana organization yoyote ndio anapaswa kufahamu ile sadaka inaenda wapi asitoe tu alafu akasema eti inna mal amal binia eti no. kwa sababu nimenuia kusaidia basi Allah atanizawadia ama atanipatia thawabu kutokana na kutaka kwangu kusaidia yeah. kwa vokia pia the point that i'm getting from what you're saying is that yule mtu ambaye anatoa sadaka anafaa kuhakikisha kuwa imefanya ile kazi ambayo alikuwa anaikusudia yeah. sio exactly ah. you should so, have near and also mm. unafuatilia pia no. Yeah. Na sasa mmesaidia so far katika mwaka huu ama miaka yote ingine ambayo mipita. Yeah. How many orphanages na misikiti na madrasa takriban ngapi ambazo mmeweza kusaidia? So far nimefuatilia msikiti moja kwa Dandora. Naam. Kwa sasa tunasaidia. Aiwa. Eh, hiyo organization inaitwa Friends of Khair. Mm -hmm. You can search them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Friends of Khair are looking up on uh, Dandora mm -hmm. Masjid. Yeah. And next to it kuna orphanage inaitwa Villa Teg. Mm -hmm. Villa Teg is a small orphanage. Aiwa. Kuna watoto uh, wa Islamu na wasio wa Islamu mm -hmm. mixture. Mm -hmm. So we help them this Ramadan. Na tumewasaidia two different organizations. Mm -hmm. Kuna Humanity Link Agency, mm -hmm. wamesaidia pia, Ashabu Liatim, uh -huh. wamesaidia pia yu orphanage. Mm -hmm. Ndiyo. So, uh, we helped the mosque. Mm -hmm. So far, tumeweza tu kuchukua measurements mm -hmm. na kuangalia kile ambacho ina miss. No. But we didn't give out still. We were supposed to give out um, the mats. Mm -hmm. Mimbar yao pia haina, haiko vizuri uh -huh. vile. Mm -hmm. Pia msikiti haina maji. Mm -hmm. Ngeweza kusaidia like ninge, pia ningependa watazamaji wafuatilie. Mm -hmm. Naam. Yeah. Naam, uh, umetaja hizi mbili tuzungumzia baadaye. Ndio. Uh, naona Fatuma pia ana swali kwa hivyo nitampa <laughs> nafasi ya kuuliza kwanza kwa sababu mi, I'm, I'm so curious na maswali mengi sana ambayo ningependa kuuliza. Okay. So, uh, Naam. umetaja kwamba hakuna maji. Na mm -hmm. Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam ametaja kwamba maji ndio uh, sadaka nzuri sana kutoa. Ndio. Na ukatidia kwamba chakula, lakini ujenitejia bado aina za sadaka. Umeintejia chakula na pia kuna manguwa tunajua hiyo. Mm. Pia kuna sadaka zingine hapa inji ambayo watu hawajui. Pengine ungeritejia sadaka kama hizo kwa sababu kuna kufanya kazi kwa na sama ni sadaka. Kutua kufanya dawa ni sadaka. Kuna Kusoma. aina zipi zingine za sadaka. Pengine. Kusoma pia ni, daku, ni, ni, ni sadaka. sadaka. Mm -hmm. So you can give out uh, different kinds of sadaka. Mm -hmm. no. Let's say, for example, if I'm giving out a uh, sadaqa in an orphanage, mm -hmm. uh, kuna, ni, kuna wale wenye watapia na nguo, mm -hmm. kuna wale wenye watafuatilia wale watoto wenye wamemaliza shule, maybe mm -hmm. wanataa kuenda wapate knowledge, mm -hmm. in, maybe in an Islamic uh, yes, institute, yes. or wanze wafanye any nini background search, waone wanataa kufanya nini, mm -hmm. ama wanataa kusomea nini, mm -hmm. uneza, uneza saidia watoto kusoma. Mm -hmm. Unaweza kuna sadaka aina ya unaweza chukua one of the kids and raise them on your own mm -hmm. that is also a very nice sadaka mm -hmm. yeah kama mtoto mwenzako no. na pia nasikia pale unapotembea unapata kitu njiani pengine za kaumiza mtu unatoa unaondoa pia, pia hiyo ni sadaka mm -hmm. sasa inasemekana kwamba uh, sadaka nzuri ni ile ambayo unatoa lakini mtu mwingine hajui ni siri yako no. na Mwenyezi mm -hmm. Mungu peke yake mm -hmm. Sasa pili ambapo watu wana jipost. Kwa sababu umengalia hata kuna organization unona umtu. Na dhini umanumpa mitu wa kishati yake, mbalisha mtu. 
muda amekuja akamchukua mtu anachukua video akampeleka kamona hajakula akamchukua akampeleka kwenye restaurant akambaia kwenye mkahawa akambaia chakula akapost ama kuna mtu akatoa pesa akampatia amepost mm -hmm. sasa vitu kama vile na kwa vipi kwa sababu ishasemwa sadaka inakuwa siri yako baina wewe na Allah na, na, na unachotoa na mkono wako wa kulia mkono wa kushoto fake one sasa hii mkono wa kushoto ni mkono gani kwa sababu <laughs> atuelewi <laughs> ukitoa sadaka uh, you don't show off you don't show it off and you don't say it mm -hmm. unafaa kujeka baina wewe na Mwenyezi Mungu mm -hmm. ukitaka unaweza like give out examples and uh, ask for help from people mm -hmm. but usiseme ni nini umesaidiana uh, sasa wale wanaji post sadaka ile unakuwa gameikubalika wengine wako na nia ya kutafuta wale wenzao unajua hii generation kila kitu mm -hmm. unaweka kwenye media mm -hmm. ndio upate usaidizi lakini yeah. nasihi but Mm. Na si mimi ningesema ina ina si inategemea na nia ile mwenye kuonesha. Wa bereza kuna <laughs> eni unalipi kusema kwa hili kwa sana kuuliza na si hii ama hii. Kwa sababu hizo ni kushauliza katika kipindi. Tuli muuliza share kama inakubaliwa ku post hizi vitu. Wewe the date wa Barbara anasema haisihi. Unafaa tu ni nia yako ile. Mimi nitasema kwa sababu Ukhti uh, Burak ametaja kitu ambacho ni cha muhimu sana. Mm. Wakati unapua, unapotoa sadaka, mm. usiachie hapo hapo katika kutoa. Mm. Fatilia na uhakikisha kuwa ile sadaka imefanya kazi ambayo ulikusudia. Mm. Na katika njia hiyo hiyo pia, naonelea pia katika wale ambao labda tusemeta sisi imetoa check ya takriban laki moja, laki mbili. Mm. Basi ile check inafaa kuoneshwa katika picha huyu mtu alifikisha. Yeah. Na ka, kwa sababu ya accountability naona ni vyema. Lakini ukifikia katika kule kutoa uh, sadaka alafu unakuja unatoa t-shirt unamvalisha mm. mtu ambao umevaa na majasho yako. Hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ni show off. Hiyo ni show off na ni ria na ni Lakini mtu kama anatoa na hajui mm hii sadaka inaenda wapi lazima afuatilie ah wewe kufuatilia ni sawa lakini wale ambao wanajipo kwa sababu huko jipost ambaye mwanzo kabla shike hapa na siko nichukue vizuri nikitoa chakula nikifanya nini nikimpeleka restaurant niambie kianza kurekodi eh kama unajionyesha kama unataka usaidizi kwa wengine mimi naona ni sawa tuseme ama pengine lengo lao kufanya vile ni kutafuta pia hawa investors wakuje pengine wasema ah kama unafanya vizuri ngoja tukusaidie na upendeleo kwa saidi watu Nadhani basi hapo jiswi hii lakini katika shof hiyo haikubaliki. Katika uh, katika zile uh, orphanages na pia zile organizations ambazo mmeweza kusaidia. Yeah. Hali iko vipi? Hasa ningependa tuzungumzie orphanage kwa sababu mara nyingi sana inafahamika usaidizi mwingi sana katika Uislamu. Yeah. Mara nyingi huenda katika kujenga misikiti, yeah. kutoa maji, ama siku ya idi kufuturisha watu, ama yeah. katika Ramadhani pia. La, na pia katika za, katika Idul Adha kutoa nyama. Mm -hmm. Ndizo ambazo zinafahamika kuwa ni sadaka ambazo Waislamu hutoa. Yeah. Kwa hivyo ningependa tuzungumzie hili ambalo halifahamiki sana, ambalo ni kutoa usaidizi katika orphanages. Wakati mnaenda katika zile orphanage, yeah. hali huwa iko vipi katika zile orphanage? Yeah. Can I use English on this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. Mostly uh, yeah. the orphanages, mm. the, 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 the rooms, the beds, the toilets, mm. they're all, uh, they're all, uh, they're not well sorted out. Uh. They really need help. Mm. And some of the kids also, mm. some of them are studying, some of them are not studying. Pia wawa naitaji knowledge. Na pia kuna orphanages zingine, kwa hiyo, sekta wako sawa mm. lakini ukiangalia kwa sekta ya chakula pia mtihani ni mtihani mm. sekta ya pesa na shule mtihani mm. mm -hmm. kuna wale pia kila kitu mm. so uh, another thing i would like to ask you is with regards to when you go to those madrasas have you or, or those uh, orphanages mm -hmm. have you ever encountered cases where kuna watoto ambao wamepitia abuse ama pia kuna any kind of abuse labda kama kuna sexual abuse kuna child labor ambayo inaendelea ama exploitation ambayo wanafanyiwa wale watoto have you ever encountered kids so far no uh -huh. most of the orphanages we've gone to the kids are well being taken care of mm. so far i don't know if there are other orphanages for mm. me the ones we have visited yeah. uh, i've not seen any complaints mm -hmm. yeah we talk to the kids kivyao tuongelesha na mdaruhusiwa kuongelesha na bila kukuwa we spend na, yeah. eh tuna tuna spend time na wao tunacheza na wao tuwapikia mm. then kuna ile mazungumza interaction, interaction. Yeah. sijui kama wana feature no. but we usually talk to them we mm. tell them we can help in any way mm. be open no. they do be open and ile 
mateso yenye wanataja hakuna mateso yenye wanataja the only thing they say they need help of mostly ni masomo okay yeah sasa kuna huyo aliuliza katika kurasa Facebook na anauliza asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum salam mimi naitwa Saidia natazama kutoka Garissa anasema what is the difference between sadaka and fitra hapo ya mimi si ustadha but they are not well but nadhani pia uh, fitra uh -huh. fitra nadhani mwelekezo wetu pia anaweza kutusaidia katika kutafiti uh -huh. neno fitra inamaanisha nini uh -huh. kwa sababu tayari tumepata ufafanuzi wa sadaka uh -huh. sadaka ni chochote ambacho mtu anakitoa kwa kunuia kumsaidia mwenzake yeah. na hakina kiwango inategemea na uwezo wa mtu na pia kutaka kwake kutoa ile sadaka uh -huh. sio lakini fitra ni jambo lingine tofauti ambalo pia inshallah kama mwelekezo wetu anaweza kutuarifu katika utafiti wake ili tuweze kujibu swali la mwenzetu uh -huh. ambaye anatuliza kutoka kule katika eneo la Garissa ningependa pia tuzungumzie kile ambacho mnakifanya uh -huh. na ndio njia ambayo haswa tulipata kukufahamu pia na ni kile ambacho mnakifanya katika it's a, it's a charity event that you yes. do kesho sio uh -huh. na ni katika maeneo ya Kangundo Road Haswa ni kitu gani ambacho mnaenda kufanya hapo kesho na pia hali imekuwa vipi matayarisho yako vipi haswa ambayo mnafanya katika kujiandaa na hiyo charity event ambayo itakuwa kesho uh, mostly uh, twendanga tu uh, mwanzo so hiyo ni mwanzo so lazima uende sijui ana visit orphanage gani mm -hmm. but uh, they didn't specify yet but on the event we usually spend time with the kids that's that's the same thing like they're going to do on first on every first event mm -hmm. on a charity event we go we donate clothes mm -hmm. we donate food we donate uh, a certain amount of money mm -hmm. let's say kama hiyo orphanage in a, a certain amount of rent yenye wanatakana kulipa tunasaidia pia hapo tunaweza vile ambapo tunaweza kusaidia na pia tunatoa sadaka ya chakula chakula like uncooked foods mm. and cooked foods uh -huh. but mostly when we go for events we usually cook foods in the orphanage mm -hmm. for them as they see okay. we cook for them and give the charity a chakula yenye ambayo ija kukopia so you also you, you you cook food for for them and then that day that day yeah okay so nimefahamishwa kuwa uh, neno la neno fitra linamaanisha nini yeah. na ni jambo ambalo ni tofauti kabisa halihusiki katika kupatiana usaidizi wa wote kwa mtu na mtazamaji ambaye alikuwa ameuliza pale jibu ambalo lina tumepata kuhusiana na neno fitra mm -hmm. kwanza tofauti ya fitra na sadaka ni kuwa jinsi nilivyokuwa nikwambia hapo awali ni kuwa sadaka ni usaidizi ambayo inatolewa ili aweze kumsaidia mtu na sadaka inaweza kuwa kitu chochote ambacho hakina kiwango inategemea u uwezo ambaye anatoa na pia kutaka kwa yule ambaye anatoa usaidizi ule. Yaweza kuwa ni mali, yaweza kuwa ni kazi, yaweza kuwa ni chakula ama nguo ama chochote ambacho unaweza kusaidia ili kutatua shida ambayo na mtu. Na kingine ambacho tumepata kufahamu ni kuwa neno fitra. Mm -hmm. Neno fitra linahusiana na mja kutaka kumwabudu Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala bila kumshirikisha na chochote. Kwa nadhani alikuwa anataka kumaanisha fitri. Labda alikuwa anamaanisha fitri sio. Na kuna zile uh, sadaka ambazo ni fard na sadaka ambazo ni wajib. Ndio. Mm. Sasa nadhani yake anauliza fitri inaanguka katika sadaka ambazo ni Aha. wajib. O wakati wa Ramadhani kama zakatu fitri sio. Ndio. Sasa na. pengine tungemtofautishia. Pengine alikuwa anataka na. kujua tofauti ya far sadaka ambazo ni faradhi na sadaka no, ambazo ni wajib. Uh, Ina sasa ambie zile faradhi ni zipi no. na zile wajib kwa Uislamu kufanya kama sadaka ni zipi. Nadhani kufikia hapo swali lake limefahamika zaidi sio? Tafadhali. Hayo mtaji zile sadaka ambazo ni farad mbe hizi hizi ni farad na hizi kwa Uislamu ni wajib kuzifanya. Mm. Yeah. Then ni wajib kufanya ni wakati wa Ramadhan. Mm. Kama tuseme kuna ile sadaka unatoa ile zakatu unatoa mm -hmm. alafu tuseme hujafunga alafu unafaa ku, kulipisha uh -huh. na mwenye anatoa hiyo nini deni mm -hmm. ni hajiwezi mm -hmm. hawezi funga mm -hmm. kuna ile hiyo zakaa ni wajib mm -hmm. si ndio mm -hmm. na sadaka ni sadaka yenye si wajib mm -hmm. ni yenye ni ile yenye unasaidia mtu asiyejiweza mm -hmm. mm -hmm. kwa kutaka for example yeah mm -hmm. kwa kutaka mm -hmm. but ile wajib for example is the one that when you're fasting and you want to repay hiyo your, your ni deni mm -hmm. kati ya wewe na Mwenyezi Mungu hiyo ni wajib mm -hmm. lazima utoe hiyo zaka ndio mm -hmm. hiyo deni yako hii mm -hmm. mm -hmm. no. 
Ala sasa tunaweza kusema kwamba kwa sababu hapo mbele niliuliza zakat. <laughs> sasa zakat pia is a type of sadaka, right? Yes. Sasa kwa hivyo zakat itaanguka chini ya zile ambazo ni fard. Zile zile ambazo ni fard. Sawa. Asante. Ndio mtazamaji amepata jibu la swali lake. <laughs> Naam. Sasa umetaja friends of khair. Naam. Ni moja katika groups ama ni organization ambayo unahusika nayo sio. Ndio. Naam, kuna ingine ambayo umetaja. Lakini sababu ni yatim ashabu ya tena. Na hiyo ndio yenye nilikuwa na, na wao sana. Sana ndio. Yeah. Na pia nafahamu kuwa mna WhatsApp group lakini yeah, hiyo kuna WhatsApp group hasa mbili sana. Kuna ambazo nimeziona kuna Friends of Khair na pia kuna ashabu ya tena. No. Sasa ningependa tu, tuweze kumfahamisha mtazamaji wewe mwenyewe upatikana vipi katika mitandao ya kijamii kwa sababu kunaweza kuwa na mtazamaji pale nyumbani ambaye anatazama na angependa kutoa usaidizi na si tu katika shughuli ambayo mnaitekeleza hapo kesho lakini pia katika mm -hmm. shughuli zingine zote ambazo mweza kuwa mataka kutekeleza katika mwaka huu na pia siku zingine ambazo zinafuatia kwa hivyo unapatikana vipi katika mtandao wa kijamii mtandao wangu ama ya mtandao wako na pia mitandao yote ambayo waweza kupatikana oh. pia inshallah oh, ashabu ya team uh, you get them at uh at ashabu ya team i think okay. that's their instagram name Naam. they also have twitter and they don't have tiktok i don't okay. think they have tiktok mm. uh, for friends of khair they also you'll get them in instagram with the mm. same name mm. friends of khair uh -huh. and also we have a link mm. if you would like to join the group no. um, you can contact me that's for uh, the whatsapp group yeah okay. for the whatsapp group and uh -huh. i'll add you to the groups mm -hmm. and kwa uh, mtandao you can follow me up on burak abdul mm -hmm. and al burak abdullahi and i will let you know Naam, kwa hivyo katika More Burak Abdul ni Burak ambayo spelling yake ni B U R A Q Q Abdullahi Abdullahi yeah. my profile is a flower yeah. Ah mashallah Uba no. Okay Naam Kwa hivyo sasa inshallah uh, how many events za charity ambazo mnatekeleza kila mwaka Kila mwaka kwa mwezi tunafanya aidha mbili au moja Ah ndio Naam na kwa mwaka kwa hivyo inaweza kuwa takriban uh, 12 ama 24 events some of the months to miss uh -huh. because to concentrate on certain uh, orphanage mm -hmm. maybe kuna ile orphanage inataka usaidizi zaidi no. so tuna, tuna push maka mwaka like miezi mbili ama tatu uh -huh. so tuseme in, a, in an end of year like, let's say for like we visit either five or four or uh -huh. six okay. somewhere there mm -hmm. sometimes more than that okay yeah na kuna zile ambazo mnasaidia leo kisha the next time mtarudi ndio uh, so it's not once for once and for all yeah okay. and there's this uh, thing we do as habul team mm -hmm. every ramadan tunapikia wasiojiweza huko mm -hmm. huruma mm -hmm. tuna tunapikia iftar uh -huh. every day from the start of the, Ram the ramadan to the end of the ramadan uh, sure. so if also you would like to join pia mm -hmm. Okay. Nimefuata mm. kwenye mtandao. Mashaallah. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hivyo kwa wale wanataka kujunga kesho kwa sababu nasikia hiyo ina kuna nyingine anza kesho. Ndio, tafuatilia. Ah. Kwa wale wanataka kujunga pengine afanye sada kwa jaria kwa sababu mm. jaria ni pale wanafanya voluntary acts. Ndio. Mm. So they can just join them. Yes, uh, so join. Nasema pengine uko ni ile cards. Unaweza kuingia. Hebu hebu ningependa kwa sababu umesema ku join sio wata join vipi? kwenye mtandao la 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 katika ah, shughuli ya kesho sio kuna ambayo no. kuna oh. zile chat yani kuna zile nyimbo zao ambazo wamezipitisha kwa watu nadhani mm. iko kwenye group yetu no. na wamewalika watu kesho waende si ndio uh. itakuwa kesho tarehe 15 no. when you when you contact them mm. they usually uh, we usually meet up in a certain point uh. eh, so wanasema kesho tupatane hapo wote tunaenda pamoja tuna hii warsha hii imeendelewa na Mount Kenya University wanafunzi yeah, ya shule so i think ya fuatilia yeah. ya MKU sio yeah. naam ambao wameandaa hiyo shughuli ambayo itafanyika kesho yeah. naam kwa hivyo sasa haswa ambao wanaiendesha ni wao ni wao katika chuo hiko hii chuo hicho sio naam lakini nyinyi mtakuwepo au kwa sasa mimi Uh, I'm still working on the uh, mosque so yeah, this okay. one I'll ask for help from other friends wanaweza kuwa hapo pia kuna wenzangu wengine no. watakuwa hapo mm -hmm. but kwa sasa ni kesho sitakuwa lakini uh, nitafuatilia inshallah no. inshallah uh, mm -hmm. I don't know Fatma una jambo gani ambalo ungependa kusema tukimalizia kipindi chetu cha leo labda labda kauli ya mwisho kutoka kwake alafu pia nawe tu utarifu inshallah eh uh, kauli ya mwisho kutoka kwa na no, what's, what's what's that thing the final word the parting shot ambayo ungependa kumwachia mtazamaji katika kipindi chetu cha leo oh well, i would like um, more 
I would, I would need more people mm -hmm. to join the charity groups. Mm -hmm. There are different kinds of charity groups, but please, Fuatilia, mm -hmm. like the right charity group that you need to join. Mm -hmm. Or I would also advise you to do your own charity because this will grant you um, a space next to the Prophet so 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 mm -hmm. in the Day of Judgment. Mm -hmm. And it's also, it will, it will bring you close. It's one of the acts that will bring you close to Allah. Yeah. yeah. And I would like us not to only, for mm -hmm. the organizations, I need to give one advice. Mm -hmm. Don't only concentrate on the cooking part and, mm -hmm. um, and giving out charity of clothes and all that. I would also like us to help the orphanages mm -hmm. on, like, let's say, giving uh, out knowledge. Na pia kufuatilia like shule zao. Yeah, to to like to to do it to Okay. Kwa watoto kusoma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mashallah, Santa Sara. Thank you. You're welcome. Kuzaga zake pindi chete chale, au kuteleni shaka kuzosadaka. Kwa sisi watu ingawa nato sadaka. Na pia ni gipi na kuwe limishon zetu pale nyumbani. Kwa sisi kuna watu na fikiri ya pingi ni sadaka ni pesa, sadaka ni chakula. Pingi ni mtu hana, lakini anataka kutoa. Yes. Kwa sisi kutoa pale sadaka, mtu yote anaweza kutoa sadaka. Yudelishi mtu watu, mtu mzima, ni fanya kazi, amai hafanya watu anaweza kutoa sadaka. Pale ambapo na jitolea kufanya mtu kazi ni sadaka. Pale ambapo na toa pingi ni kitu ambayo nzeka mburu mtu njiani hivi ni sadaka. Kwa hivyo pale ambapo unatoa dao tulivoka hapa sisi bado tunatoa sadaka. Kwa hivyo sadaka unaweza kutoa kwa njia nyingine yoyote. Unamfunza mtu kusali bado ni sadaka. Kwa hivyo usidilimi tu usimengisi toi kwa sababu bado sijaanza kazi ama sina pesa. Hapana, unaweza. Kweli. Ndio. Naam, mimi nimejifunza mengi sana na nimepata kwanza kufahamu hata kwa niaba ya mtazamaji pia kuwa kuna kutekeleza sana kwa sadaka miongoni mwa Waislamu na si jambo ambalo linafanyika katika mwezi wa Ramadhani lakini ni jambo ambalo linafanyika kila wakati yeah. na ni vyema sana tukiweza kufungua macho yetu ili tuweze kufahamu katika jamii ni watu gani ambao wanatoa sadaka tuwasaidie tuungane nao na pia ni watu gani ambao wanahitaji kutolewa sadaka ili tuweze kuwasaidia nasi na mimi pia nahisi nimepatiwa changamoto sijui kama una changamoto pia siku moja unahisi kama una mshawasha wa kuweza kuingia katika charity group ili uweze ukatoa usaidizi na dhani pia ni jambo ambalo pia nimepata kunufaika nacho yeah, katika yeah. kipindi chetu cha leo. Mm -hmm. Naam. Lakini Abdurazak si lazima ungee katika charity group. Naam. Si lazima. Unaweza pia ukajitoa mwenyewe ukisema mimi nanunua bili nzima ya unga, mm -hmm. bili nzima ya ina kupeleka kuna unafaa tu kujua na pilika wapi alivyosema. Naam. Fasilio sio pengine kuna wale pengine wa majani ndio. Mm -hmm. Pengine hata sio watoto peke yake naweza kuongelea kuna wale wajana ambao wamolewa wakiwa na umri mdogo hawana kazi na wanatabika sema hii mimi sadaka yangu naotolea wanawake wajani unawapelekea sehemu fulani pengine unaweza kwenda Kibra unaweza kwenda Dandora uwapelekee ama unaweza chagua nyumba yote watoto matemo kapeleka sasa unaweza kufanya mwenyewe ama pia ukitakara kama unaona mimi nataka kufanya organization fulani unaweza pia kapeleka pale Yeah. Kweli kabisa. Naam, natumai mtazamaji pale nyumbani umeweza kunufaika kutokana na kile ambacho tumejifunza leo kutoka kwa Ukhti Buraq Abdullah ambaye anahusika na shughuli za kuwasaidia wasojiweza katika jamii na yupo katika uh, groups ama vikundi kadhaa ambavyo vinasaidia na alivyokutajia hapo awali inshallah tuweze kuwatafuta katika mitandao ya kijamii ili tuweze kuwasaidia na vile vile pale nyumbani kama mtu binafsi pia waweza husika katika kusaidia si lazima uwe katika kikundi na pia ukishindwa waweza kutafutana na wenzako ambao ni waislamu na pia usukuo waislamu pia kwa sababu sote waislamu tuna utu na pia wanadamu wote tuna utu na inshallah tukwa vyema tukiweza kuwasaidia wasojiweza miongoni mwetu wawe ni waislamu au wasukuo waislamu ndio kauli ambayo tunaweza kujifunza leo hii Inshallah na tumai tuweza kutunifaisha mpaka kesho akhira bi idhnillahi ta'ala. Hivyo basi tunawaga watazamaji pale nyumbani sio? Na usisahau pia waweza kutazama kipindi chetu katika siku ya Jumanne ambayo itakuwa ni marudio kuanzia mida ya saa sita mpaka saa saba inshallah. Wa hadha assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.